the resume. The dreaded resume, some would say. It's all about mind games. I want you to take this resume. This is a real person. We're calling her Jane Doe to protect her privacy. So what's the first thing when you're looking at this that you would immediately change and that jumps out at you? First things first is the seven seconds. The first seven seconds when someone is gonna read your resume will actually influence their opinion. So if you have all of these different fonts and lines and things happening there, you're just getting too distracted. So like you're gonna be pulling in that direction and then this direction and then ooh, change of font, change of font again. Uh, the location is unnecessary. What I would center all of this information, there should be obviously her name, her phone number, her email, and then a little blurb that basically summarizes you, or Jane in this case, and her career. So the goal of this blurb is for you in a nutshell to tell these people why you're such a good fit in a way that you're influencing their behavior. You're not telling them, I'm awesome, I'm, ex I'm an expert. You're leaving the information there for them to jump to that conclusion. I was taught to not let your resume go on to a second page. But here we have two pages. What do you say? At Jane's career level and your career level, like if you've been out of college for a few years, you can go with more pages. What would you say to her to maximize her incredible experience of Wow, what is this, almost 17 years at Cedar sinai Right here, there's just way too much information, too much going on. You need to be very succinct and to the point. The way our brain internalizes information, you need to tell them what you did, how you did it, and then I recommend you put in a couple of key accomplishments that numerically give the reader an understanding of the scope of what you did. How do we end it? I usually end it with my education, you're smirking. Why? Is that, is that lame? Is that lame nowadays? It really is about the experience when someone's reading through your resume. So if you close with, with education, they'll probably get that, oh, you went to so-and-so school or, you know, okay, on to the next. However, if you throw in what we usually do is put in an about me section, you're going to throw your reader totally off guard and you're gonna tell them something. Like what's an example? How far could you go with that? This woman was applying for a job at Google and when she was hired, the, inter or the, the hiring manager goes to her and says, you know what, you were neck and neck with someone else. But what really kind of was a deciding factor was the fact that you are into roller derby and you play the accordion. Like that completely sealed the deal and for And they us. only knew that because of her about me section. Yeah, because it was completely different.